Welcome back guys. In this video we are going to look at a directive called ng-repeat. ng-repeat directive repeats HTML element for each item in a collection. So let's take a look at an example. We're going to go to app.js file and here we're going to create a plain old JavaScript object. So we'll just say var and I'm just going to name it employee is equal to an object. Now let's start populating a few things here. So first of all, we are going to put that in an array. We change this to an array of an object. And then the first, we're going to type first name and then we just type the value for that. So I'm just going to say Ben. And then we're going to say last name of our employee and we just say Hastings. Next, we can say what is the gender of our employee. And we just say male. Next, we can say what is the salary for employee. And we can just say, let's just say 50,000. We don't have to put that in a string because it's a numeric value. So, this is what we have an object. I'm going to copy and paste this a few times and we we'll change the name of that. So let's just change the salary of this to 55,000, 45,000, 60,000, 70,000. Now we'll change the name as well. We we'll just change this to female and we we'll just say female. And we just change the name as well. So we just say Mark. I'll just change the last name first. So we just say Paul. And I'll change one of the males to my name. So let's just say Mirza. First name is Always. And I'll change this to, let's just say Kate. And here we will just change this to uh, Todd. And actually, it's a girl, so Sarah. And just change this to Todd. And let's just say Pam. Right, so we have an array of objects, right? Now we want to repeat, we want to use ng repeat. So the first thing we need to do here, we need to add this array of object, which is a collection of objects into a scope object. So we'll just say $scope.employee is equal to employee. Now we can access this collection in our HTML using this scope. Let's go back and here we will just create a table. Let's create a table now. So we we'll just say table and we need to have a row and inside of a row we have a table headings first so th we just say first name right i'm gonna just copy and paste this and we will just say last name give a space here and here we will have a gender and then we have this salary We forgot to wrap that in T head. So T head and I just wanna wrap this with our row. And now we're gonna start our T body. So let's just say T body. And then inside that we have a TR. So table row. And inside that we wanna repeat one thing in for our collection. So here we'll use ng repeat right and we can say employee in employees okay now one thing to notice here is if we change this to name let's go back to app.js file and we can just say employees and we can just employees here and then we change the name to employees as well to not to get you guys confused about it so this is an employees collection and we're saying that repeat employee in employees so we just say this to s now 
what we want to repeat. So we want to get the first object, right? And it will repeat for rest of our collection. So we can just say TD and here I'll add a binding expression and we can use this employee object and employee dot what we want to get is the first name. I'm going to copy and paste these and the next thing we need is the last name and then we need gender and then we need a salary as well. All right. So now basically what it's going to do, it's going to create this table row and it's going to go to our array of employees. It's going to grab the first object and its first name and then the first object, its last name and a second, uh, the first object with the gender, first object in a salary. And it's going to go back to this ng repeat and sees if there is another object in an array. So once it's available, then it's going to just repeat itself. I'm going to save the file and we just go and refresh the page and there we go. So we have the last name, we have first name, gender and salary. Now we have Awais, Kate, Sarah and the last name coming down. So it's basically repeating. It's pretty cool and it is used a lot in AngularJS and we'll be using this in our uh, projects.